已经过，等我们相见。Welcome to China Horse Business, the one and only podcast on the booming horse industry in China. I'm your host Zoe King, founder and CEO of Wonder Horse from Shanghai. Podcasting to the world. This episode is recorded during the novel coronavirus outbreak. Hi everyone, I'm Jack, not Jack Ma. I'm Jack Xu. I work the leading electronic appliances named Hisense, based in city of Fushan, Guangdong Province. I'm in charge North African market. I travel a lot, in, both in China and abroad. In Tunis, I'm so glad to join Zui today in this episode. Hello, Jack. Welcome to the show. How's the situation in Foshan? Well, I was back to Foshan 16 days ago. Ever since I'm self quarantined at home, I can only go out of my compound for once in two days. As to work, I need an official approval to go out. Okay, I see. Very intense. I flew back to Shanghai last night. Upon arrival in the airport, everyone is required to declare all personal information and travel history relating to Wuhan and Hubei province. Based on the information you provided online, the health authority will grant you a personal QR code with one of the three colors indicating your self-quarantine level. Fortunately, I got a green QR code, the lightest level. That means I can go out, but only have to report my daily health condition to the authority. I have to say the online monitoring system is very efficient here in China. Yeah, in fact, I think a lot of business is in healthcare, education, delivery, and entertainment are booming during the epidemic outbreak. So true. You know, we initiated a donation of horse oil hand cream to medical staff in Wuhan. Everything is done online. We collected funding via WeChat mini program, ordered and shipped products online, and communicated with representative of the hospital on WeChat. So far, we donated over two hundred twenty items to two hospitals in Wuhan. We will keep donating more. Well, it's great if our listeners overseas want to participate in this donation. You can write to us at contact at. Wonder-Horse.com. Exactly. Please join us to show your solidarity to the frontline medical staff and Chinese people. Well, Zui, shall we start today's program? Which club are you going to introduce in today's China Cup section? We will take a look at Beijing Oriental Equestrian Club, founded in 2007 by Mr. Feng Baojing. The club is located in Shunyi District, where many other equestrian clubs are based in Beijing. Few years ago, Mr. Feng met Vanessa and Joelle Vandervray, two French instructors living in Beijing. They worked together ever since to bring in the French gallop system and many French and international students to the club. Today, they have accumulated over one thousand eight hundred members, three French coaches. Fifteen Chinese coaches and eighty horses. In the spirit of French gallop system, they programmed many group lessons so that the cost of one lesson is relatively reduced at sixty euros, give or take. Many professional trainings for Chinese coaches from other clubs are undertaken by the French team. Two competition named Sino French Cup take place in May and October every year. In today's China Story section, Vanessa share more information about the team and the club, especially under the current situation. China event. You will tell us what happened at the largest congress of Asian Racing Federation taking place in the South Africa. The thirty eighth Asia Racing Conference, two thousand twenty. Took place in Cape Town, South Africa, from February eighteen to twenty three. This year, the theme of the conference is "Unlock Racing's Potential." No officials from mainland China attended the conference due to the coronavirus outbreak. 
During the conference, Asia Racing Federation announced to accept Chinese Equestrian Association as associate member. In 2016, another national association, China Horse Industry Association, has been accepted as affiliate member of Asia Racing Federation. Therefore, two national associations who claim to be the national racing authority in mainland China are now members of the ARF. Since the racing at betting is not regularized in mainland China, it is expected that the ARF will keep the nuanced position until one national racing authority is officially appointed by Chinese central government. Hong Kong and Macau are full members of the ARF. In today's China Q and A, we got question from Ben in Belgium. Here is his question: Hi, Zui. I'm so sad to learn the coronavirus outbreak in China. My thoughts and prayers goes with those patients and their families. I heard the Formula One has been postponed due to the current situation in Shanghai. I wonder how epidemic will affect sport events in China, especially extension sports events. Stay strong, China. Thank you, Ben, for your kind message and interesting question. As a matter of fact, the coronavirus outbreak has affected almost all sport events in China since all cities have been shut down. Nothing happened. In the recent days, most of the cities besides Wuhan and Hubei province. Has been restored in order. Businesses started, stores reopened, people back to work. However, all school remains closed and students stay at home. It is said in the news that no public event will be organized before the end of April. After the Hong Kong Laundry Masters being cancelled, the next big equestrian event is the Laundry Global Champion Tour in Shanghai, scheduled from May eight to ten. At this point, the organizer is still confident that the event will take place as planned. I'm also very confident that the situation in Shanghai will be improved very soon, and there's no need to postpone or cancel the GCT Shanghai. Oh, Zui! Many touching stories happen every day in China during such a difficult time. You talk to Vanessa Vendagurai, director of Beijing Oriental Equestrian Club. She stays with her family, colleagues, and friends in Beijing since the outbreak. Yes, she shares some special moments in Beijing. Let's listen to her China story. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Fine, thank you. I know the coronavirus outbreak is affecting everyone in China. All the business has been shut down, including、mm-hmm. your equestrian club in Beijing.、Yes. Can you tell us what are the difficulties you are facing? The difficulty is、uh, mainly economic, of course, because we can't open to the public, so we have absolutely no income. But we think we are pretty lucky because it happened at a period where we have、uh, low business usually because it's、uh, spring festival holidays. So everybody goes home and uh, they uh, they don't go uh, riding uh, much. In January, February, it's very cold also in Beijing. So usually we have a decrease of the number of lessons. But right now it's not only a decrease; it's no lessons at all. Your club, Oriental Equestrian Clubs, is based in Beijing.、Uh, yes. How long have you been shut down by the authority? So far, we have been shut down for two weeks, a little more than two weeks. When the outbreak started, we have a few people coming still,、uh, the brave ones, <laughs> and、uh, everyone will、uh, wear a mask, even、uh, riding horses. But then、uh, the local authority、uh, told us that we had to totally shut down、mm-hmm. and、uh, comply to the to the government、um, regulations and、uh, prevention about that virus. So、yeah. we. Totally shut down、uh, a little more than two weeks ago. What are the prevention and control measures you have taken? So for our staff, we have been lucky because for the spring holidays, usually everybody goes home, but we always have a little bit of staff that decides to stay. Mm-hmm. So all our staff is living in the equestrian club, so it's like a little quarantine site by itself.、Okay. Nobody is allowed to enter or go out. 
we implement all the measures uh, required, uh, such as uh, wearing a mask, washing the hands very often. Uh, we most of the time wear gloves also, and we disinfect all the facilities three times a day. When we had people coming back from other provinces, they uh, stayed uh, at home for two weeks uh, during their staff quarantine. So how about the horses? So the horses, they're very happy because they are on holidays. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, uh, uh, we were lucky because because it was the spring festival. Uh, just before the spring festival, we ordered uh, much more food than usual to uh, have enough supply for two months. So we have an absolutely no shortage uh, in terms of uh, horse food, hay, bedding for the stars. We have only 20% of our staff, which is uh, still uh, outside in their own provinces. So we are pretty uh, busy all day. We put the horses out because we are an uh, equestrian club in uh, Beijing. Very lucky because we have big paddocks mm -hmm. and the horses get to go out half a day in groups. So they have uh, social uh, activities and, and then uh, they receive um, also uh, grooming care more often. We make sure they are clean. We check their hair and we use that time also to implement some, some care that we do once a year when we are not so busy like the teeth floating so it's uh, it's a good time for them Vanessa you and your husband daughter have been living in China in Beijing for many years um, yeah wonder, for eight years I wonder if it is the first time that you go through such a difficult time in China with Chinese people uh, yes definitely uh, we didn't experience the SARS uh, outbreak but we are very impressed how Chinese government handled the, this uh, situation. And uh, every day we have proof that they just do everything possible on earth to control that outbreak. And I think uh, even France couldn't have done better because mm. it's such a huge thing to put uh, quarantine on uh, so big cities with so many people on uh, a huge province. And uh, we can feel the people are very uh, positive and not that afraid and uh, really think uh, this will uh, be under control very quickly. Do you have any emotionally touching moment to share with us in such a difficult time the touching moment it's uh, we we of course we watch a lot the news reports everywhere yes. we are very uh, concerned about the medical staff who are up front uh, so it's very moving to to see how dedicated they are in our club one of our staff used to be a nurse and she's taking turns to go to a hospital also to help out everybody who can give a hand just to unload uh, merchandise and stuff like that, they go and, uh, and give a help. So that's very uh, touching. The boss of the equestrian club is very, uh, takes uh, close attention to his staff, makes sure they are good, they eat good. He says there's no problem about the salaries. He will uh, keep paying the salaries, whatever happens, how long we will be closed. This is very uh, touching also. Do you see uh, in a short term that um, the, the equestrian club will be authorized to reopen once done? Are you confident that Chinese riders will come back on saddle soon? Oh yes, <laughs> definitely. Uh, as soon as we can open, I'm sure they will just run to the club because we every day we receive messages. When can we come see the horses? How are the horses? When can I come riding from uh, everyone? They're very uh, in a hurry to come back and uh, see everything back to normal and come uh, take care of the horses and ride them and have fun with them. So yeah, definitely they are just eager to to come to the stables they are just frustrated they can't come but we have to comply to the local authorities and as soon as they give us uh, a green light then we will open and everybody will come back for sure okay. Hope the day will come soon and then yes you, hopefully you guys stay strong Hope everything goes better mm. every day thank you Vanessa for accepting our interview thank you <laughs> Well, South Line, Vanessa and her team are doing a great job to prevent the epidemic. For sure. Most importantly, they stay very positive and confident. Faith, hope and love. That's all we need to fight against the coronavirus. Wuhan, Jiayou, Zhongguo, Jiayou. Thanks for the pack talk, Jack. Well, stay strong and safe. You too. Take care. See you. Bye.
This podcast is produced by Wonder Horse, the equine business solution provider focusing on Chinese market and a bespoke platform for Chinese equine community. I'm your host Zoe King from Shanghai, with my thoughts and prayers for all people infected by the coronavirus. Please allow me to express my highest respect and my greatest admiration for medical staff on the front line. Please join us for our ongoing donation program. Together, we are stronger than ever. Wuhan, 加油！中国，加油！ Woman, 为爱奉献，为梦开。